and he didn't take attendance so I just figured like what was the point like if you're not there I mean like he's there but like he's not really there so like why do I need to be there so yeah but but you need to be there you need to be in class. I wanna be I wanna be anywhere any place that I can feel you I just wanna be near you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome to my channel Vibe with K Marie. Today I'm going to be doing a back to school video. It's going to be five high school habits you need to drop before college. Now this is kind of going towards like any freshman that's in going in college because like you're just coming out of high school and you have those bad habits that you're definitely going to need to drop to be successful in your freshman year. But this is really for anyone who are still like, even for people who are in college who still have these bad habits. Or even if you are in high school and you need to, you want to drop these habits from now. Um, well, here's the inside scoop. So I'm not only going to be telling you guys the habits, but I'm also going to be telling you guys ex exactly why you need to drop these habits as well. So before I get into the video, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 19 years old. I am a sophomore. Oh my God. I'm a sophomore. I am a sophomore in college, what? and I am majoring in nursing, and that's it, yeah. So, this is all from my, my personal experience from my freshman year and things that I wish I had did to been a little bit more successful for my freshman year. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Habit number one is not reading your class assignment or textbook assignment. Now, I know some people in high school, they had... Like, maybe assignments you had to read. I know for me, like, when I was in high school and I had, like, AP classes, we had, like, textbook things, assignments we had to read. Um, wouldn't read them, didn't feel the need to, and would still ace classes. But that same mentality into college, thinking I didn't need to read, and boy, was I wrong. So a lot of these professors, they expect you to come in there with the information, like, they expect when you come into class, you're like discussing the information that it's not necessarily new information to you. So you really actually have to read that assignment. Um, don't get me wrong, not all professors do this, but majority of them do. And if in the syllabus it says come prepared to class, come prepared to class. Literally read <laughs> the textbook assignment, whether it's chapters, whether it's one chapter, whether it's a few pages read it and come prepared to class because the moment you don't read it you're going to be set back and you're going to be playing catch up for the whole semester because that was me and i never caught up and basically i would go into class and she would like expect us to know and i'm just like but you never taught so they don't really teach they kind of expect you to teach yourself but if you think about it you're only in the class for so much time so they can't really teach you all the information so they want you to come in there with a little bit of knowledge so just read your assignments look at your syllabus see whatever the assignment is for that following week and read that assignment because it's going to build up and if you decide not to you're going to pay for it number two is not going to class and i know coming from high school senioritis don't go to class just chill that whole attitude has to change of course now you're probably switched into like a different gear anyways just because of the simple fact that you're in college anyhow did you hear that thunder oh, no let me hurry up and film this video before the sun go down <laughs> okay depending on the college or university you go to they have certain attendance policies in which some of them really follow through some of them are super strict um and i know for me it's like certain absences i think it's like two absences or a certain amount of like latenesses you're basically going to be withdrawn from the class so it's going to be as if you never took the class so regardless of whatever grades you get it's not going to count to as like a credit um so it's not like in high school you can miss whatever amount of days you want and it's like you're fine like no you miss those days first off it's gonna take you a whole bunch of work to catch up secondly you're probably gonna they'll drop you from the class and it'll be a waste of money each of these classes are like grant like not even a grand like thousands um 
so these are classes you really really don't want to miss and if any of my college friends are watching this video and saying Kayla is such a fraud um yes I did miss some of my classes in freshman in my freshman year but I will say that um one of the professors like he really didn't teach like I had to teach myself and he didn't take attendance so I just figured like what was the point like if you're not there I mean like he's there but like he's not really there so like why do I need to be there so yeah but but you need to be there you need to be in class okay just go to class don't even like I know there's gonna be days where it's like it's raining or it's like I'm just not in the mood trust and believe like you're gonna regret not going because it's gonna be so much stuff to catch up on so just just go to your classes just go number three this is the biggest one but it's not studying and as obvious as it is a lot of people have not yet to break that really bad habit me coming out of high school not really studying never really studying and I would still get good grades um I had to switch that whole mindset that whole habit of me just not studying these classes are so intense or the classes at least I was taking were so intense that it was like it wasn't even an option like you have to study and it was like even sometimes when you would study you still wouldn't get like a really good grade so I'm telling you the whole it just shifts completely and I think that's the hardest thing about catching on for college is adjusting and actually implementing studying into your everyday um, into every day really so I wanted to show you guys this because this is something I make for every semester so it is basically I can like go in depth about how I organize myself for each semester in like another video but basically what I do is this is planned out week by week not week hour by hour that's literally how important your time is in college like every single hour you have is that critical because the times you're not in class, you really need to be studying, reviewing, and reading those class book assignments. So really implement that into every single day. Um, however you can, just make sure you're implementing studying into for each course into every single day. Number four is also something that a lot of people struggle with, which is procrastination. You're going to have so much time on your hands. I say that because you're not in class for as long as you were obviously in high school but the idea is that that time that you would have been in class in high school is essentially time you're supposed to be using to do whatever assignment to review to study or whatever so it's so easy to take that time and to like just push off everything that you're doing for anyone who's dorming don't be the person that just runs to the door and takes a nap watch netflix and for me i was a commuter so it's so easy for me to just hop in my car, drive home, my school's like 10 minutes away, go home, make breakfast, take a nap, do whatever, watch YouTube videos, Netflix, and then get back in my car and go back to my next class. Like, that is exactly what you, like, exactly what you shouldn't be doing. Um, there is so much time, and that's why it's so important that you plan out each and every single hour that you have, because it's so easy to get, like, you know, caught off guard, not caught off guard, it's so easy to get distracted and to to waste that time so then you just find yourself procrastinating to do whatever it is that you need to do you can easily break that habit by planning out your time like i said prior this also goes along with the studying i think i'm going to do a video on this one uh because i think it'll be helpful for like anyone who's getting adjusted to like that new schedule and stuff like that so i think i might do a video on that and number five last but not least is expecting I'm just gonna say expectations from your teachers or professors period coming from high school you always I mean for me I had like amazing teachers who would really go above and beyond do not expect that in college they're not really like going to be as helpful um, as you might want them to be like you have to find those other resources because they're not it like no <laughs> a lot of these professors like they just don't really unfortunately care um or not even that they don't care i guess it's just like this mentality that it's college whatever that's supposed to mean um like i don't know they just don't they're not really gonna be that helpful so you really have to look for other resources within the college if there's a tutoring center or whatever it might be and things 
There will be exams that come up and you will not even know or remember because it was in the syllabus, but the teacher never said anything to like maybe the week of. Been there, done that. When you get that syllabus, write it out in like a calendar, write it out on a paper calendar, on your phone calendar, like in a huge room wall calendar because like there will be a whole bunch of assignments and things that come up and you're not gonna remember and there are professors who will not remind you that a paper is due that week like don't get me wrong disclaimer not all professors are like this and i'm not trying to make it seem like it's like the worst thing ever but yeah, but majority of the time they're not like gonna be on top of you as much as your high school teachers were those are the five habits that you need to drop before you start college last this is like a six not even like a habit it's a thing if you have a tote bag, drop that tote bag, sis. Drop it, throw it in the garbage, get you a book bag. For me, as a commuter, um, sometimes I find myself in school from a.m. to p.m. So I don't know how people walk around with a tote bag and like feel like they have everything they need or like their shoulders not hurting them. Cause like sometimes I'll bring my lap book, my laptop, books essentials snacks like i don't know how that all fits in a tote bag so drop that tote bag or turn on the post notification so you can enter my giveaway and so you can win a book bag <laughs> you found this really really helpful and if you did definitely comment subscribe turn on post notifications all of that give this video a huge thumbs up send this video to anyone who is entering college or anyone who's currently in college again if you are not subscribed hit the subscribe button and you guys will see me in the next video, which should be the giveaway. So I will see you guys then.